Hello students, so in this part we are going to study about two different types of analog modulation process. They are amplitude modulation and frequency modulation. In case of amplitude modulation, the amplitude of carrier wave is changed in accordance with an instantaneous value of the modulating signal. While in case of frequency modulation, the frequency of a carrier wave is changed in accordance with an modulating signal. So let's start with an amplitude modulation. Hello students, in this part we are going to study amplitude and frequency modulation. So let's start. First of all let us start with the amplitude modulation. Amplitude modulation in this the amplitude of a carrier is changed in accordance with the instantaneous value of modulating signal. In the previous part we have seen there are three types of modulation. AM, FM and PM. Okay. And we also seen that when we change either amplitude, so it is amplitude modulation. If we change the frequency, it's a frequency modulation. If we change the phase, it becomes a phase modulation. Okay. So in uh, so right now we are studying the amplitude modulation. So in this the amplitude of a carrier, okay. And whenever I am changing, we are changing the amplitude, changing the frequency, changing the phase. That means we are changing these parameters of a carrier wave. Okay, carrier is a basically a high frequency uh, signal. So we, in the case of amplitude modulation, we are changing or varying the amplitude of the carrier. Okay, in accordance with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal. So the amplitude is changed according with the instantaneous value of the of modulating signal that is the information signal okay so we have this, uh, so there are three important signals which we have to remember one is the carrier signal say another one is the modulating signal or information signal and third one is the modulated signal that is a signal after modulation okay now carrier okay carrier signal so it has amplitude vc frequency fc Okay, and uh, it's phi. Okay, phi is a phase. So, now, so one more thing that T is missing here. Okay, all these things T will come here. Right, yeah. Now, so whenever, uh, so in this, we are having uh, amplitude, frequency and phase. So, but in case of amplitude modulation, we will be only changing the amplitude. If we talk about modulating signal, so it's, it is having the amplitude of Vm and the frequency is Fm. Remember, we have already mentioned that the carrier frequency is greater, much more greater than the modulating frequency, okay, or the frequency of information signal, right. The last one is the modulated signal, it is equal to Vc1 plus Mt cos 2 pi Fct plus phi. How it comes? Uh, since the modulated signal, okay, the signal after modulation will be of the form st equal to so if we have the amplitude of carrier is vc so we are also adding a our message signal okay mt right here mt and then we will multiply with the cos 2 pi fc and t plus phi okay so basically in the if you see here in the carrier signal so we are adding the modulating signal with the amplitude of the carrier wave right so we can see depending upon the uh, the instantaneous value of a message signal the amplitude of the our carrier signal will change and hence the modulated signal will have an information contained in its amplitude okay so the information is contained in the envelope envelope basically means the amplitude right 